So walking along, spotted these. They're all along this larch tree root. They're kind of puff -a mushroom. You can see the spore going free. But they're attached to the larch tree root. The larch tree roots are close to the surface. So I'm hoping that this isn't this large tree, the beginning of its end. A lot of times when there's mushrooms growing on roots, these roots are fine here. That root is fine. This root has a rat or a mouse or somebody's living under here. They've got a whole series of holes. See, there's some holes there, some holes there, a hole there. Loads of holes, and you can see they're pulling a uh, pine cone in. There's a holes in there. So, loads of holes the dogs are interested in. It's pretty big, so I'm not sure if it is just a rat or a rat kingdom. But my concern is these puffer mush mushrooms, which aren't, which are different from the other ones. You can see they're all here, but they're all attached to the, look at that. There you can see the microsial root structure. So, Maybe they're of benefit. I don't know. Maybe they're giving the tree something it needs. And they're living together. Happily. But, I don't know. Look at that. All their spore. There's some celandine. There's some celandine. Who knows? We have several large trees. There's one here. Well, we've got quite a few, but in this section we have one, two, three large trees. And then over here, there's one, two, three, four more large trees. So there's six large trees in this small paddock. And then there's more in that top paddock there. But the grass is growing really well and beautiful so that the lambs will have a feast once they've matured enough to come out into this open field. Though it's protected, you can see there's a wall all along there so the lambs can protect themselves and they cozy in underneath the larch trees, particularly with the roots of the larch trees. This spot there is a favorite spot of lambs. And then there's another favorite spot right there. And there's another one just on the other side of this large tree that lambs like to collect and stay cozy and warm. So lambing season is coming soon. I just found one of those mini puff mushrooms right here. So it's a different kind of puff mushroom than the big ones that we get in the orchard. So, not sure what it lives off of because out here, there's no tree in the vicinity of this in any direction, unless the root of this larch comes all the way out over to here, where this puffa mushroom is, this mini puffa mushroom. You can see how small it is next to Inca, it's tiny. I'm going to take up this fence here because it served its purpose and we won't need it in the spring. It's a four strand electric fence to keep sheep out of sections of the field that I was sowing. This section was sowed with a diverse seed of herbs and legumes and grasses and fertilized so it'll be lovely and rich for the lambs and the yews next year in the spring. Some more beautiful, delicate little mushrooms. 
Look at those, they're tiny. They're so sweet and perfect. They're just tiny. They have beautiful stripes on them too.